Okay, I think I'm live. Hello, hello. It's time for live stamping. So excited. <clears throat> I'm just <clears throat> logging in here when you pop in. Make sure you say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. I had to move my uh, stand around again and I feel like this thing is right in my face all the time. I need to play around with that. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to make this bigger so that when I'm stamping I can see your comments and questions as they pop up. Oh, it's been a crazy week after Thanksgiving. <clears throat> did you all have a good Thanksgiving? I hope you did. <clears throat> as you're popping on, make sure you say hello. I would love to uh, interact with you. Tell me where you're from. I would love to see where you're uh, located. And if you're watching the replay, I would really love it if you would just comment that you are watching the replay. And of course, remember that I give away prizes and one of the ways you can enter, be entered to win a prize is by um, liking and engaging in the likes. I love it when those likes fly across the screen. Also by commenting and um, by sharing this video to your page or with your friends. I would love for you to share away. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about my week. I started some kind of exciting stuff. So for those of you, well, probably all of you who are watching are crafters, so you must really enjoy DIY, do-it-yourself projects. And I started a new DIY project here at my house, uh, making sourdough bread. And so far I'm really loving it. I am um, just starting my, my starter. So really what happens is when you make sourdough, it grabs the yeast from the air all around and it kind of ferments and makes it poofy and bubbly and that's what helps make um, the sourdough rise. Hi Sue, thanks for joining tonight. I'm making a 3D project tonight that's actually pretty easy and super fun, so I think you'll like that. So anyway, this week I started my sourdough, and the funny part is I ordered a sourdough um, cookbook, and I did not realize that the lady who sent it to me sent along a free starter with it. So I'm already going to be getting to make sourdough this weekend so I will let you know how that turns out next week you can hear about my sourdough DIY adventures along with hearing about my card making and being inspired so um I am super curious if any of you had any Black Friday fun shopping I heard from Sue because Sue was over at my house for some Black Friday stamping we had a blast we made, um, how many cards? 12. 12 cards for Christmas. Um, I should show you. Let's see if I have them all here. They got to make um, four of three designs. So um, the stampers who came over to my card class got to make this super pretty card. This was our hardest card. Um, so when I do a class, I like to do varied levels, simple to maybe more avid, and that would be this card. Uh, so the ladies who came got to make this one. Um, they also made this one, and here's the inside, using the perfectly plaid stamp set. I think I might be doing some stamping with that next week on my live. We'll see what inspires me when I come up with my project. And this beautiful card we made. 
So this uses the um, Feels Like Frost, I think, designer series paper. I'm sorry, I cannot remember the names of half of the products. I should remember them, but I don't. And we had so much fun. We had snacks and listened to Christmas music. And what about a way to spend your Black Friday evening to relax while you're stamping after you spent the day stressed out in the hectic stores? So um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is the um, sale going on right now with Stampin' Up. Hi, Aunt Barbara. I see you're watching. Um, <clears throat> and so there's a big closeout sale going on. The retired stuff is on sale. You can get super good discounts. If you go to my store, um, there's like a big banner up top that says closeout. You can just click on that and it'll take you right to everything that's on closeout. Okay, I'm going to... Oops, I hit something wrong on my computer. I'm going to flip you around and we're going to do prizes next. I'm going to show you what we're making maybe first here. So here's what we're making tonight. Um, this is a 3D box. You can put something in here. I've just got an essential oil in here. And it's got a belly band that you slide over to keep it in place. So that's what we're making tonight. I'm going to flip my camera around and we're going to do prizes next. So bear with me here. Let's see. I want to try and get this in the middle. I hope the lighting is okay. If it's not, um, let me know. When I sit down, I can see the comments. Okay, so first of all, remember... Share. That's how you can be entered. Like, comment, and I do a prize drawing for orders. So, first one is going to be for likes and comments. I'm giving away this card that we made last time, the gorgeous cardinal card with the inside. That goes to Robin Raditz. Robin, I have your address, so I will send that out in the mail. Thank you so much for likes and comments. Totally appreciate the engagement. I see somebody posting a mad face. I love that. Um, oh, it might be my husband. I see John's on too. Next for... Um, Sharing, I have these Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. This is a full set and um, it's never been opened. I'll get these out in the mail. Jean Schutt, you are the winner of the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. These are beautiful. They were some of my favorite embellishments. I'm surprised I had a full pack. Um, Jean, I do not have your address, so... Um, if you want to private message me, I will get these out in the mail to you this week. And then for ordering, I have a, I'm not even going to call it gently used because I have to be honest, I never ever used this stamp set. Um, so they're all mounted here, but I never use them. It's a uh, used, never used stamp set. This prize is for the people that ordered from me, and that goes to Sue Bonnet. So congratulations, Sue. All right. Um, so here's our prizes. Awesome. If I need your address, Jean, make sure you get in touch with me. And now we're going to be making this box. Now, this particular box... I um, used Very Vanilla with our Birch background stamp. So I'm going to use this model to make our card. Uh, let's see here. 
got my notes. I need my notes because with the 3D project, there's lots to remember. Hi, Kathy. I see you're on. It's been forever since I saw you. All right, I'm going to use crumb cake. And of course, we've got the new paper cutter. Now, usually I try to have stuff all cut and scored for you before my live uh, because I don't want you to have to watch me doing all this. But I'm going to do this with you live because there's a lot of cutting and scoring to be done and it's mostly what the project is all about. So, um, again, we've got our new paper cutter here. This thing is awesome. We are going to need to be measuring at some bigger pieces. So I love that this arm comes out here. And the other thing I love about this cutter that I just noticed when I was doing this, they put little lines here in the gap between the numbers. So that's awesome. Okay, now we need this piece of paper cut down to eight and a half by nine and three quarters. Now, a uh, piece of paper is already eight and a half by 11. So I do not need to cut this side at all. I only need to cut this side to nine and three quarters. So let me line this up. Now on this paper cutter, our top blade is our cutting blade, our bottom blade, I don't know if you can see it off the edge here, our bottom blade is our scoring blade. Now, do not throw this away because we're going to use this again. The other thing I want to do is when I've cut this down, this looks closer to um, a square and I want to remember what is my short side because sometimes I don't want to have to re measure so I'm gonna put X's on the side that is my short side all right now the first thing we're gonna do is score all around so when I say score all around what I mean is we're gonna score at this measurement on every side so we're going to score first at three quarters of an inch. Now I can use this narrow part here and line it up, which is what I'm going to do. Hey, remember if you're watching the replay that you should share my video as well because it does not matter if you're watching me live or you're watching the replay I can see who shares the video that's how I know um, who can win the prizes that's how I know whose names to put in the drawing so now we've scored three quarters of an inch all the way around and we need to now score at one and a half all the way around so now I'm going to line up here with my one and a half. Get my finger out of the way of this guard. And as we go along here, if you like what I'm doing, make sure you hit that like or love button because that enters you for a drawing as well. And it encourages me. Can you imagine sitting here talking to yourself as you stamp? Oh my gosh. All right, so now we have scored two places, our three quarters all the way around and one and a half. And now we're going to score at two and a quarter. So I just line this up at two and a quarter. And remember, we've got these lines going all the way down our trimmer. So that's what I'm lining up down here and also up here. So oh, I talk to myself often. Well, honestly, I do too. <laughs> 
but now I have to actually make sense when I talk. We've got one more on the side. Two and a quarter. All right. So now we've got three score lines. And we're going to now do it at three inches. So I'm lining up my edge with three inches. The cool thing about this project is we're only using one piece of paper and we are using the whole piece of paper. Hi, Carol. I see you popped on. Welcome. Okay, now here's where this whole idea of um, marking my short edges really comes into play because this paper gets a little bit busy when I'm looking at it here, um, seeing all my score lines. So on the side that I've marked, this I'm calling my short side, I'm going to score at three and three quarters in from each side and I'm going to score it to the second score line. So up to here. So three and three quarters. Yeah, I think that's right. Three and three quarters. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to do it on top here to the second score line. And then down at the bottom to the second score line. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side at three and three quarters. I'm going down to the second line and then on the top, I'm going to go into the second line. So you can see this line only goes up to the second one. All right. We're done with my paper trimmer, and right now I need to get my, I'm gonna leave the snips, but I'm gonna use my bigger scissors first. Okay, so we've got this grid, and what we're gonna do now is cut out these squares. Um, all the way to the top line that go all the way through. So let's do that and each of the four corners. This is where why I went over these lines a couple of times because I wanted to make sure that I could see these indentations. out we don't need these you can just toss these and now where we've gone in up to our second line I'm gonna cut all the way up to there and then I'm gonna go diagonal across to the outside edge where that next line is I'm gonna do the same thing over here I'm gonna line it up to that outside edge and snip and then we're going to turn it around and do it the same way right on the other side. All right. 
You don't need these pieces either. You can toss them. Now we need our bone folders so that we can get our edges nice and crisp. Hi, Bernetta. I see you're joining us. Thank you for stopping by and watching. Okay. So I'm just folding each of these on the score lines. Okay, now I want to dress this up a little bit, so I'm going to do a little stamping on this piece. I scored it first because you'll see once I stamp with this, it's going to be a little bit hard for me to see what I'm doing. I need to show you guys a little trick. All right, I do not want to get the bottom piece full of ink. So I'm using a post-it note here. And if you don't care if it gets full of ink, no big deal. Uh, I just wanted my bottom solid. So I'm going and I'm covering this area with a post-it note. I just fold this over and line it right up with the folded edge. Okay, one more. Like this. All right. What I want is for this to look like bark. Okay, I'm going to use my, I'm gonna do a tone on tone here. So I'm gonna use my crumb cake ink pad and ink up this background stamp. And we've got this on the Stamparatus. We're just going to fold over. And as you can see, it didn't go dark. So that's why I love the Stamparatus because I just do it again. And now I'm gonna flip it around and do the same thing. Ink it up. Stamp. There we go. And we've got these sides that I also want to do. What I'm going to do here, though, is I want to make sure that I'm lined up and I'm not crossing over the areas I already stamped. I'm just lining up the edge of my birch stamp right here with this line. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, actually, I think I'm going to do it this way here. All right, so now we've got some wood grain looking designs on our project. And then when we pull off our post-it notes here, you can see there, there is no stamping in that section there. Okay, time for some tear and tape. Tear and tape is super sticky. I absolutely love it. It's kind of hard to get the pieces off, so I like to use my paper piecing tool. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of tear and tape on the last, um, the last tab, if you will, on our long side. So I'm just going to measure this out. We tear it. Sue says, does the magnet come with the Stamparatus? Yes, it does. It comes with two of them, actually. And let me show you that here in one second. It does, and they stick right here. There's a place on the back side of the Stamparatus for you to stick your magnets. Now there are a lot of stampers who are putting some washi tape around these magnets because if you drop them and they um, stick together, it is nearly impossible to get them apart. So when they have the washi tape, they can kind of pull them apart from each other. All right, I've got my tearing tape. Let me do the other side while I'm at it here. Hi, Kathy. Yes, I love the birch set too. It is probably my favorite background stamp. I don't know. I really love the buffalo plaid though too. So I guess I can't say it's my favorite necessarily, but I love it. I have used it so much and it adds a lot of little detail even to projects like this. Plus, it makes it super easy to make man cards, which I hear is the biggest struggle for a lot of stampers. I just need one more small piece because I really want to make sure that this sticks. So, all right. When you're using your tear and tape, there is a, just like a sticker. There's like a backing that comes off of it. And... Once you tear it off, what's left behind is super, super sticky. Now you're only gonna use the tear and tape for these sides because when we go, as you'll see, when we go to put the other sides together, you're gonna need a little bit of give in your project. So, there we go. All right. Now this is super easy. All we're doing is turning this into a square. So I'm lining this up with my edge here and I am sticking that down. So what we end up with is this hollow square area. And if you can't reach your fingers in there, use your piecing tool to really get this edge stuck down really good on the tear and tape. And we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm lining that up with my scored edge. And to make sure that that is good and secure. Okay, so now we've got our two sides here. Next, we need to fold these other ones in. And this is where I'm going to want some give. So I'm going to use my liquid glue. When I want some give and I want some time to set my stuff, I use my liquid glue. So we're going to glue this in two places. I'm going to glue it here and I'm going to put a dot right here on each side of our frames that we just made and I'm going to carefully slide this over and push these together so that I'm sticking to the glue spots I just put on there. And I want this to stick good down here, so just holding that down a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna do 
The same thing over here. We're going to put a little on the side and some on this piece that folds over. A, where this is getting adhered is right here, right here on the bottom. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to slide this in here. And again, you need these pieces to move around just a little bit so that liquid glue is super forgiving when you're first um, using it before it dries. Once it dries, it's nearly impossible. That's why I love using the multi-purpose glue. Okay. And now we have our box. So here's our boxes. Um, for those of you who like oils, now you probably could also use, um, I wonder, you could make a bigger one for a re-inker to fit into, um, but I like uh, gifting these oils that I use, so um, this fits in here perfect. You could also do a, I think a chapstick would work, you could do a couple chocolates. So now let's talk about the belly band. Uh, remember this piece that we made, that we set aside, that I said, don't get rid of it, this piece of crumb cake. This is what we're going to use for our belly band. So <clears throat> let me bring this back in. We are going to score this piece that we cut off. In a few places, we're going to do it at two inches. Two and seven eighths. Five and three eighths. Ooh, that was almost my cutting blade and a six and a quarter. Right here on the very edge. Hi, Jean. I don't know if you saw, if you haven't started over at the beginning, but you won. Our prize for sharing my video. Thank you so much. You'll have to make sure to get me your um, address so I can send that to you in the mail. All right, so I've scored again. We've got um, two inches, two and seven eighths, five and three eighths, six and a quarter, and I'm just making my nice crisp edges and then all we need to do is adhere this together I want to make sure that I'm doing everything right here yes um, I don't want to do this Yep, okay. So the way I wanna adhere this is with the piece that goes all the way over to the edge on the top. And I'm just gonna use a little tear and tape because it's awesome. This stuff is super sticky. Put that on the edge here. Oh, before I do this though, oh my gosh, that would have been bad. We almost forgot to do some stamping. Holy crap. Um, let's see. How about for you with love? I kind of like that one. So I'm using the for you with love from the Toil Christmas stamp set. That's the sentiment we're using. Um, I will do this in real red. If I can find my real red. All right. 
And I'm just going to stamp this on here directly onto my belly band. Uh, I have to be honest, I'm kind of making this up a little bit as I go. So hopefully this will work out the way that I have it pictured in my mind. Do you guys ever do that? You have a project in your head that you want to stamp and then you go to do it and it seems like it would work out perfect and it doesn't. Okay. So now I'm lining this up. Oh, I should have put a piece here. Well, I'm going to have to stick in my liquid glue because I wasn't thinking. You're actually supposed to stick down both parts of the belly band. And I missed one with tear and tape here. Whoopsies. So I'm just squirting in some liquid glue there so I can get it glued down. Creating on the fly. Yes. Cindy, you won my prize last live, last week, but I need your address. I have a card to get in the mail for you. I had a note that I was going to message you. Okay, so we have our belly band done. And I was going to put my bird here for you with love, but I also cut out this. I don't know. We could put this. What do you think? We want this over the belly band? This might look cute. I kind of like it just plain. So anyway, you can dress this up how you like. Let me get this um, cardinal on here now. You might remember from watching uh, last week when I made the cardinal card that I colored. I showed you how to color this female cardinal. And I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to stick this on here. That sounds good, Cindy. You can send it in a private message if you like, or you can email it to me, whatever you prefer. So you've got that stamped on here. And as you can see, if you wanted to, you could cover this up with this banner from the same bundle. All right, we're, we're actually done with our project. I'm kind of rambling here, but um, this box fits perfectly a little bottle of oils. And now all we have to do is, why isn't this working? get this belly band there we go I think I glued it too tight so give yourself learn from me guys give yourself a little bit of grace here with the belly band maybe not so tight like I did I'm ruining this right now um, but you get the point here we've got our belly band that goes on. Let me use this one. It slides on. Yeah, this one, see how I didn't go quite to the end, so it has plenty of room. That was a mistake that I made, but we'll live, right? So you've got your box, you've got your belly band. It keeps your goodies in here. And now you've got a wonderful gift that you can give away to somebody special. What did you think of my project? Oh, Cindy, I love oils. They're awesome. They've changed my life. I'm so happy to hear you love oils. I always like to meet a fellow oiler. Um, what do you think? This is pretty easy, huh? I like this so much better, but of course I screwed up. <laughs> oh, man, we always have that. But anyway, here we've got our belly band all made out of one piece of paper. You're using that piece that you flipped off. 
or that you cut off in order to make that belly band. Um, for those of you who are looking to place an order, if your order is under $150, please use my host code. It's RPQ. 9 P E P B. This is valid for December only. Anyone who orders under the host code under $150 is entered to win a prize. And Sue won that awesome stamp set earlier tonight. If your order is over $150, Skip the code, you will still get entered for the drawing, but I want to make sure you get your hostess benefits for over 150. So, all right. And again, don't forget to share my video. I absolutely love inspiring you and your friends. So, I am off for the night to work on my sourdough, feeding it for the second time tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be right here again next Thursday night, 7 o'clock Central. I will also post all of the dimensions. You can see my notes here. I'll post all of this chicken scratch on an actual project sheet, and I will work on getting that uploaded to my Facebook page by this weekend where you can see all the products that I used to make it. All right. So you guys have a great night and I will see you right here next week. Bye-bye.